Okay, so this tutorial is going to show you how to create a basic slideshow with uh, some basic animations and titles in Premiere. And I've got my, uh, my pictures already converted here to uh, JPEGs. They're no longer raw images, and they're all the same size, but that's not too important. Um, what I'm going to do in Premiere here is I'm going to click New Project, name it, Slideshow Demo, hit OK. And here for the sequence setting, I'm actually just going to hit cancel because I could pick a sequence or I could convert my pictures to fit a certain video format. But for our case, what I'm going to do is actually just make it so that it uh, sets the sequence size to fit our particular images. So I'm going to go over here to Project Slideshow. I'm going to actually go to Media, no, Project Slideshow, yeah. And I'm going to go back to the Finder. I'm, I've got a Command A down on this folder to select all and then I'm going to click and drag them over here and you'll see all of my pictures have appeared here and it says uh, 002 which is actually just two frames this is seconds and this is uh, how many frames so it's uh, they're very like split second they just come up for like uh, a little tiny bit but we'll deal with that in a second so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now that they're all selected still they're all got this kind of like highlighted gray thing here and if they're not I can do command A again I can control and click or right click on them and I can go to new secret new sequence from clip give that a second to process okay now it's created the sequence and it's also you can see my images up here and this uh, all of a sudden has tracks available, video and audio tracks. And if I um, go over here to this little little mountain or big mountain thing, I can click here to zoom in, zoom out. That lets me zoom in over here. I've got something I can do similarly on the timeline um, where I can just push. Uh, if I bring the timeline to the front where it's got this little yellow outline around it, I just push the plus button on my keyboard. It's right up there by delete. You can see I'm gradually zooming in. The minus button zooms out. Okay, so uh, now if I'm going to push the space bar or I push here to play, you're going to see it just plays back the video so fast it's not even worth watching. So what I'm going to do is take my selection tool, go to the right hand side of this clip here, and you'll see this little red uh, like bar arrow kind of thing and if I click and drag on the right hand side of that I have now extended my video and once oops, it's got a little glitchy there um, as I'm extending it you can see there's a plus with that little um, yellowy box that appears and right now if I pull it out that that far it says I've extended it two seconds from where I already extended it and now if I just hover the mouse over it you can see it's got the start time, the end time, and the duration. So that's about three seconds. So if I push play there, you can see the playhead go by. And uh, spacebar starts and stops play. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, so now this clip is three seconds long. I'm going to zoom out some more, and I'm just going to set it down the ways here. And I'm going to extend this clip. And there is a way to um, have these set up to import all at like five seconds or all at you know uh two frames or anything like that you can you can kind of this will just take a, a minute this way and i will show you how to do that in the uh, next lesson there uh, of course you can pull back on the left hand side of the clip to extend it or shrink it as well okay so i've got all of these to a uh, decent length and if i go to the very beginning oop, i forgot one okay so i'm just going to click and drag over all of these Scoot it to the right. Go back to that last little image there. And now if I push spacebar, you can see each image is staying up for much longer. Okay, a couple things I want to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to show you how to um, add a title. So I'm going to scoot all of this over. I could have the title go... Uh, well, actually, I'll show you both ways. Um, if I scroll up here, you can see I've got a video 2 and video 3 separate tracks. And I'm going to go to my title menu go to new title, go to default still, and it's got everything set up for our right uh, frame size. I'm going to call this um, intro title. Okay, and the title menu, title uh, editor comes up. Now, if I just take the type tool, this is uh, a lot like working in Photoshop, which you're probably pretty familiar with at this point, and I can say uh, uh, incline 
uh, becomes legal in Manitou Springs. Okay, and so this is actually a slideshow of me and some of my friends that uh, we took all these pictures the day the legalized the incline. Okay, so now if I click and drag over here on this little type thing here, I can make the, the type larger. And right now it's on this Abadi, which is a, a font I kind of like for using titles. Uh, it's kind of nice and bold. Um, and I might need to reformat this a little bit, but I'm going to make the text pretty big. And I'm going to center it. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I'm going to click to my move tool and I'm just going to resize the box down a little bit just so it's kind of right in the middle. And now what you can see is I've got a, a fairly lightly exposed image with white text on top of it. So that may or may not be a good thing. I can go over here to my fill, click on that white, and I could turn the text black and still doesn't show up too well. So what you might need to do is do one of these that has, ugh, it's a really ugly font, <laughs> but uh, you can have something that has kind of like a white outline or something like that that kind of um, separates it, make sure that it doesn't chop off your text. Um, and be careful with these, because some of these are um, really, really ugly. So uh, please don't use this. Um, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put it back to uh, regular, a body. Um, let's see here. Just turn off the fill. Go to a body. There it is. Okay. And let's put that to just regular. A body. And uh, it wants to be a tile size here. Let's just choose a, a simple one. Okay, so now I'm back to where I wanted to be. Um, what might work better, rather than having this on top of the um, the image in the background, is having it over some blankness. So what I'm going to do is, um, when I'm done creating my title, I'm just going to X out of the window. And if you look down here in your project um, to that panel, project panel, uh, you'll find that there's like a little clip here. Again, it's two frames long. So I'm going to bring that out, and if I put it on video two, I have to zoom in here so you can see it. Um, you can see it's above that image there, and I can extend it so I can make it. Uh, let's make it like uh, two seconds long. Okay, so I've extended it out or added two seconds to it, so now it's two seconds and two frames long. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see my images are on video one, and on video two, my title is above that. Now, I don't really like how that looks, like I was saying, so I'm just going to zoom out, drag these down here, just select them all by dragging over, and then clicking on one and dragging it over. You can see it sort of snaps right to align with that there. So I'm going to zoom back in, and now it's perfectly fitting in there. I could leave it on video two, or I could just put it on video one, it doesn't really matter. And now it's over a uh, black background. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to do some um, some transitions. So I'm going to have it so it fades from picture to picture, and there's a lot of different transitions you can play around with, but um, for now I'm just going to do a real simple crossfade between the intro title and this first image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, click on this, Oh, let's see here. Let's scroll over. I want to see effects, and it's in here. It's just kind of running out of space. Oh, no, it is no longer in here. Um, okay, well, let's go to Window and go to Effects. Okay, now Effects is back. So, now I can go to uh, Video Transitions, and there's a whole bunch of them that will uh, kind of like cut from clip to clip, and in this instance we're looking at still images but uh, it sort of treats them as video clips so um, we've got this stuff like the 3d motion um, if I pull it to uh, cube spin and I just drag it right in between where these uh, clips meet you can see if I put it at the beginning of one it's just gonna be on one or the end of one it's just on one I gotta put it so it overlaps both and release the mouse and now I'm gonna just play that back uh, my computer is running very poorly 
but you get this idea that it's this cube spin kind of thing. Um, I I like this kind of stuff is cheesy. We've got these like star wipe effects and a couple other like really cheesy transitions. Uh, again, I recommend not using those too much. Um, but if you go under dissolve, go to cross dissolve and drag that out there. This I think is uh, kind of tasteful. So we'll go ahead and play that and it just fades from one to the next. And if you want to apply cross dissolves to all of those, what you can do, you can click and drag over all of the remaining ones and go up to uh, sequence and go down to apply default transitions to selection. Right now, cross dissolve, you can see it's got that little um, yellow box around it. That is the default transition. So we'll just do that. And now it's got that cross dissolve on everything. And, of course, the computer is just running terrible right now. But that's okay. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you um, uh, do some basic animations. Okay, so let's uh, scrub through here. You can see I'm just grabbing this little yellow thing, and it's an easy way to skim through the uh, skim through the video. And I'm going to take this funny picture of myself here, zoom in on that area of the timeline, and of course you can move your timeline left and right with this thing. You can zoom this way as well. This lets you zoom in and zoom out. But I just use the plus and the minus on the keyboard mainly. And I'm going to click on that image. And, oops, oh, i got too many selected. So I'm going to click off. I'm going to click so just that is selected. And up here you've got this tab called Effect Controls. And I can go to Motion, Tip Motion Over. And I want to bring my playhead to the very beginning of that clip. You can see it indicates that there's this little crossfade at the beginning and the end there. We can kind of disregard that. Um, so it actually looks like it's just showing me my buddy here, but it's actually on the clip of me. And I'm going to add a keyframe with this little toggle animation thing. And when I push this, you can see a keyframe, this little like diamond shape thing appears here. I'm going to do that on position and scale. And I'm going to scale it up about you know what, let me just get rid of those crosshairs for now. Just because it's a little confusing. Um, okay, so I've got my thing selected. Um, I've gone to the beginning of my clip here, and I have turned on... I'm just going to turn these off real quick, and then turn them back on. Okay, so now I've got these keyframes there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the scale up, and I'm going to bring the position starting with me here. Okay, and these keyframes at this point in time are going to say uh, that I want this video clip to be uh, basically in this position and zoomed in that much, that much scale. Okay, now I'm going to go to the end of the clip just by scrubbing over there. You can see it lines up just nicely there. Uh, even though it's showing me the next frame, I'm, I'm actually still on this one. I can use my arrow keys to go left and right on that. And I'm going to click um, add a keyframe for position and add a keyframe for scale. You can just see there's a right there. And I'm going to zoom in some more. And I'm going to scoot it over this way. And it's kind of a funny picture, I think. Um, I just kind of look kind of silly in it. And I'm pointing, but you can't really see what I'm pointing at. So at any rate, we'll zoom over there and it'll be a little suspenseful. So now I'm going to just take my playhead, scrub it back here, and I'll let it play over that. And it's going to run choppy right now, but you can see it basically animated the difference between the beginning of that clip with those keyframes here and these keyframes there as it just goes along. Okay, So go ahead, animate some of your different images, uh, put titles in, which you can also animate those, and when you're all done with all of that, you're going to have to export the video. And I'll show you how to export here real quick, though. It takes sometimes quite a while, so I won't um, have you watch that whole thing. And then we'll also have to put it on YouTube, and I'll have another video that will show you how to do that and then post it onto a blog. Uh, so here we go to the uh, file menu, export, media. Okay, and then uh, you can see right now it's selected to work area, which will be the distance between 
uh, that little orange nub and that little orange nub. But just to make sure you get the whole thing, I suggest you go to Entire Sequence. And it's going to select the entire sequence. And then for Format, we're going to set it to H264. And then there's a lot of presets under here. The preset we're going to look for is, you just scroll all the way down here, and we've got YouTube uh, HD 1080 or 720. Um, again, however you want to do this, the lower the quality, if we were to do like this uh, 360 or whatever, it would export quicker. But uh, let's, let's try um, 720 at 29.97 frames per second. This is probably one of the better presets that will probably work pretty good with this. And what you're going to experience now, since we're working with a weird uh, format, is a little bit of cropping. So if you want to go in here, you can unlock this, and you can try to tinker around and adjust and get the uh, the settings just right. Um, the photographs that we're working with are 3,000 by 2,000 pixels. So if we were to set this at, let's just do this at 700 and then take half of 700, uh, which is 350, and add it to 700, that would be 1050, and that actually is a perfect frame size. So if you, you set um, set it to YouTube HD 720, um, and then switch this, it's going to switch the preset to custom, but that's fine. Make sure you've got entire sequence selected, and then if you click on output name, uh, this should come out, we can call this slideshow project demo and then I hit save and then when I'm actually ready for the video to go I want to hit export okay and my phone is ringing and this is a perfect time to end the tutorial thanks for watching